were very odd. Right, need to uh, go to that place that I need to go to. Yeah, it all came in the same package. Shadow Mio is dead. So good. Yeah, to charge it. Pay for now.
finally here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus's former position as guildmaster. <coughs> Sides quickly formed behind these men, and the Ratway became a bloodbath. I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia, but the others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septums and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Right there, let's go murder Kalaya. Keep your eyes open, your mouth shut. Ancient Nordic barracks were sometimes impenetrable. This one wasn't really too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. A lot of skill. That should do it. You. Magical. I'll just do this with my hands. Wiggle, wiggle. Carlia's been open. through here. Stupid. 
stench in here. This place smells of death. chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. The wall chain. Try something. Oh, wait there. Yeah. Two more of them ahead. I need to pick up some more lockpicks. I'll increase my lockpicking skill. Prayer class or something.
I'll spit on your corpse. You can't hide from me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Shit, I just know this chap is enough. God, I'll tab up this game because they don't look fucking funny. Using my phone now, because he chat because some dumbass me forgot to fucking put chat up, so I can't see it. And I'll tab out this game can make you all fucking squiffy. So I'd have to literally quit the game to do it. Which I don't mind doing, like it's just the middle of doing something. Hey, Xanthum dude, how you doing, man?
How you doing, Santhaman? Doing alright, yeah? That's good. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm a bit late to my stream today. I usually stream in the mornings. But, uh... Decided to go back to bed. <laughs> I was really tired this morning. I don't think I've ever been hit by one of them. We're on the right track. Fuck my so indeed. What is it? What is that? Oh, that means it's like you're fighting someone. They'll go blah 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 and then their uh, weapon will shoot out of their hands. Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching cloth, it's probably impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlyle is close, I'm certain. Now let's Fair get enough. moving. I need to become a for when I need to break into places, though. Ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough, otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How 
interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. Huh? But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way that prevented your death. Without the antidote I administered, you'd be as still as a statue. I treated your wounds and didn't leave you defenseless. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot and yet I used it on you. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Back to the sack, guys. his friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for the journey. <laughs> That's fair enough. I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. <coughs> I can promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. He was a scholar, 
A master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were... very close. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Remember, speak only to Anthem. Trust no one else. Ah, my throat is annoying me. Could you describe the smell? Like some yes, yes. Carlia. Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? I've already corrected. The problem? Let me see it. Oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Right. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. In the time really? before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. But it did run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn 
led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Fair enough. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak. What if I stab him in the nuts? Will that work? Can I help you with anything else? Ah, you were just sitting down by a table. How are you outside? Seriously? Let me guess. Silver blood. They sound like scum. They are damn sneaky teleporting elves, man. Where was you last night, Dan? Xanthum, dude, I didn't see you stream. I did keep my eye out. Well, it would have been yesterday afternoon for you, but for me it was last night. Stories about you don't tidy Another way here? I've got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Look, I'm very busy, so this better be important. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. And the and Zell? The ruins underneath Markarth? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? <laughs> the most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. I'm an idiot, man. People keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Thormer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. What is it, beans, huh? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is all... Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my def... You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the ex... While I... I'm Being in. an admirer, I'm sure you can... Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. What is it this time? So you wish to master the arcane arts? So you wish to master? No, don't. Yes, their history and culture is all around us in Markarth. A race of stonecutters, artisans, and engineers. They invented machines and built elaborate underground cities where they researched powers to rival the gods themselves. And then, at a time we are still not sure when, they disappeared. The whole people, all at once. 
leaving behind only their works. What is it this time? Oh, yeah. Court. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. It means Dwarven Museum. Lost race of people that built this. You want to know more? Ask Chalcimo. He's usually in front of the ruins, just down the tunnel. Well, the key wasn't in his pocket, so I didn't have to worry about pickpocketing. Unless there was another key for this door. How do I get it? Damn, I'm running low on long picks. See me. Oh. 
Is someone there? Is Back someone up. there? I need some help in here. You can't hide from me. Shit. I've been spotted and I don't really want to murder guards like that. I'm actually wearing. Almost there. You guys up early or up late? Accidents like this don't just happen. Someone is trying to sabotage my uncle's research. I... All right. If there is a thief, he won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? I'll deal with my uncle. Just go. Scour this place from top to bottom. Someone there? Nope, no one's here at all. <laughs> A fast travel from you? Ah, 
Ah, it's fast traveled and available from this location. Shit. He was near earlier, was it? Way I was on, uh, or was it you when I was on Shadow Mia? Happily skipping along. Well, not skipping along, but. You know. Shadow Mia died. Yeah, that's cool. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Uh, how do I get healed again? Just to cure disease and a Where's this douchebag? My job is to serve the yard. Don't waste time talking to travelers. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? The mage is still in the college. They said it's not safe in there. Well, it's a good thing they don't let you in there then. Was there something else? I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm. This is intriguing. Highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I... I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Enther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Enther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college, and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do.
If you have further need of me, we must hasten to Riften before Mercer Bob. can do any more damage to the guild. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. I'm assuming you're here for more than a social. Down to business, eh? No, I'm here because I'm talking to someone else, and I haven't left. And you should realize that, you dumb fuck. Well, let's head down to Riften. First, let's do this. La la da da dee dee da 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 dee 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 dum dum. It is a bit strange, isn't it? But then again, you heard the conversation about uh, how that Garrus, whatever his name was, really died. You want to talk? After Genocide everything you've done here. you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Then we show them Gallus's journal and hope for the best. Remember, we have proof and all he's got is his word. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Follow us, like, where the fuck's the arrow pointed? reason to be here with that murderer please lower your weapons so we can speak i have proof that you've all been misled no tricks carlia or i'll cut you down where you stand now what's this so-called proof you speak of i have gallus's journal i think you'll find its contents disturbing let me see no it can't be this can't be true i've known mercer too long it's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. 
Wait just a blessed moment, Brig. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from a vault for years. Gallus was looking for he was murdered. Nag of Mercer opened up a vault that needs two keys. It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? The door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick it. What's she on about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. I've used my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. Put it away, right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right now. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Some gold. I may have some work for you. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I, I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? What? Nightingales. But I always assumed they were just a tale. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Rift Wheeled Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh... Better question would be, what did he look? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commission for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. Huh. That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to one else that madman. Yeah. 
be funny how I'm the one who always gets to do the dirty work with everything. Stabbed in the back. It's like the dark brotherhood all over again. Need to stay focused in case Bray comes back. Make it fast. That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. Vald? Good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Phrasemen. I would. Interesting. bothering me for a good reason how do you feel I think you might be sick what in the name of oblivion do you I don't have time for idle chip vault why would you want to help that idiot he owes me a steep debt in fact he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer a few years back I commissioned a unique Quill from a good friend of mine in Winterhold. Vald was tasked with getting it here getting safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Hom. Huh? The wizards called it the Quill of Gemination, and demanded a tremendous amount of gold to have it made. If you can locate the Quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. The quill was supposed to allow me to duplicate any writing I'm viewing in exacting detail. I'm sure you can understand how useful that would prove in a business situation, especially where signatures were involved. Fortunately, the quill required an ink with a unique formula known only to myself. So if you're getting any ideas about selling it to someone else or keeping it, you'll find it would hold little value. Thinking the worst of the quill. No. I'm sure you can understand how fortunately the quill. Breeze. So, if you're getting any ideas about selling it to some, I had Vald meet the caravan from Winterhold on the western end of the lake so he could avoid the roads. The idiot got lost in the mist and ran his boat right over some rocks, sending it straight to the bottom. He's too stupid to remember where he was, and any attempt I've made to find it in the past has been unsuccessful. Vault said his rowboat struck some rocks. I'd check under the water near one of the small islands in the lake. Perhaps you should start at the docks and work your way out towards Golden Glow Estate. Out of my way. Rare trinkets and the finest oddities from Morrowind. The shop sells cure potions. I don't think I've got any. I shall check.
building again? Yeah, I was fighting earlier against the dragon. I was shooting arrows at the dragon, like, and when I was shooting arrows at the dragon, it wasn't early. It was last night. Um, I hit a horse, and it's like you've now got a bounty on you. I'm like, what? Fuck off. A welcome, fellow traveler. So many refuse to talk to us. They call us, take a look. May your road lead you to warm sands. I go on the right way. No. I was going to say, where's Shadowmere? And then I remembered I killed it. <laughs> Damn it, I just gotta search a fucking lake. It is done. I won't go back to the I won't. Out from the docks, work my way across.
<laughs> the fox was just looking around, man. Do any of you know where uh, this fucking quill is? Yeah, you know, I, I could just kill him, like, but. She said it's between, uh, between the dock and that place, so that island. Probably a sun one. Right. Let's go give this to her and then speak to the guy and go from there. I presume you're bothering me. Really? I wrote that off a long time ago. Well, I suppose I need to fulfill my end of the bargain. Give this document to Vol. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. Jewelry with legendary Argonian traps.
God damn you, you son of a bitch. This is Mercer Frey's place, and he don't like visitors. Now, I don't know how you talked Maven into letting me go, and I don't care. You did something for me, I'm gonna do something for you. Here, take the key to Mercer's house. <laughs> Won't need it anymore. Tea and eggs. Fair enough. I don't really like gearing keys, I like to put, pick the lock because it increases my lock picking skill, but hey. A lockpick. I've seen many of them for a while. This is why I'm so fucking low. It wasn't long where I had loads of them. I thought there'd be something to turn it off on the other side. Probably is, it's just me being like blind.
I sneak his one away from a hundred. There you go, that was that mission done. Wait, he really? We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? Shore's beard? He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good, and set up for life. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Until next we meet, Lot. We're gonna meet literally here. I promise you, all your questions will be answered. You just have to trust me. Not now, lad. Carlia said it was important. Brynjolf, something I time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lost, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a Nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. That's why we Sepulchre. need to prepare Sepulchre. ourselves Sepulchre. Sounds like a stupid on equal word. footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Cool. Right, I'm... What was you watching me on in the first place? Why I went on the map. Are you telling me to go in here? Ah! 
<laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Just a quick way to go. Right, buddy. Do you want me to charge it? Eh? Yeah. It's broken, that. <sighs> okay, I'll charge it. you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. Cool. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. I could kill him anyway. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Gallus, Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. This way, please. Can't believe how dark, dark is in this game. I think it's my TV, it's just too dark. I, I literally can't, I can see the white arrow, I can't see her at all. There's a door. <laughs> so this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. That's wrong. I can almost hear you growl furrow. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Bree. It's business. Hurry up. Yeah, you got the right idea, Brynjolf. I like Missy Slow Pants. is enough to make your head spin, eh? Come on! It, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. This is enough to make your head spin, eh?
Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a Nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. Quarter to three! Simple, Brynjolf. Yeah! Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. We should trust the lass and take the deal. We'll speak when it's complete. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Yep, let's get this show on the road. Unfortunately, you the fuckers take forever! <laughs> I'm ready! I've been ready for ages. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlyle. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Yeah, Carla, yeah? Suck. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre, the Skeleton Key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, yes, but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities, the potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence, and whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, 
It's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. Mm -hmm. The leadership of the guild. Listen, lad. There's one last... Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Yeah, I am now in charge of everything. Well, I'm... I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falmer are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthal. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Aye, and some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Until next we meet, lad. Right, I'm going to end the stream for you now. Control A, yeah, so I plan on doing his control and everything. I end the stream now because my missus is going to be going to get the rest of the kids from school. Normally my other child is in school as well. They send him home because they think he's ill and he's not ill. He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm going to jump off and... Uh... Is Anthem, are you streaming tonight? This is a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see me now, I'm hiding behind a tree. Oh, that's a shame, man. 
I was going to say I'll probably stream tonight, but after you stream. But I'll probably start about 8, 9, then. So in about 6 hours I'll stream. Alright. Around. I just want to like save it. Have you murdered? Let me take whatever I just took. Something else, yeah. Ready so I can take your stuff. Oh, you did. Oh. Right. Search him. Gold, gold, narrow, iron arrow. Right, I should catch you later, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you when I'm streaming later. Save the game. Later, dude. Thanks for anyone who's tuned in. It's much appreciated. Goodbye.